Feel pretty good. If it's all the same to you, we could drive straight through. Be home by six o'clock tomorrow morning. It's fine by me. Oh, it's been so beautiful here. I hate to leave. It's been like a second honeymoon. But it'll still feel good to get home. Amen. Besides, I have to get back to work and pay for all this. <laughs> I'll be right back, honey. I, I want to pick up something. Get a good deal on that one, sir. Box of ammo comes with it on the house. Take a couple while the price is right. Sell one to a friend when you get back home. Help to finance the trip. John, what are you doing? Well, I'm just uh, picking up something for protection against prowlers. But I thought we already decided that... You decided, huh? What I decided was that with what's going on these days, nobody is safe. You know, there were two burglaries right around the corner from our house just before we left for vacation. But having a gun in the house is dangerous. Guns don't kill people, ma'am. People kill people. If criminals have guns, then having one yourself just becomes a matter of self-protection. How about it, sir? Is this going to do you, or do you want something uh, heavier? No, no, this is fine. Uh, I never bought a gun before. Do I have to register it? Never been convicted of a felony, have you? <laughs> Not that I know of. Well, then don't worry about it. I'll just fill out a couple of little forms and you'll be in business. No big thing around here. Oh, God. I tell you. With me and Jill on opposite shifts, life has not been easy lately. Yeah, well, that's just Riker's way of contributing to zero population. It's working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I wanted cream. Uh, coffee machine says you get black. Cream and sugar. Coffee machine says you get hot chocolate. The coffee don't, machine. Don't be upset with the coffee machine. It's only 6 o'clock and it isn't awake yet. It's going to be one of those days.
Ambulance at 3727 Ellis. Heading east in pursuit of 459 suspect. Request assistance. We have you patched through now, Ludlow 7. Go ahead. Roger control. Ludlow 9, this is Ludlow 7. What's your location? Mike. I'm in the alley. Two blocks east of the 3800 block. No sign of suspect. The guy with the gun ran on this alley and went over that wall. It looked like he was headed for the old market. Thank you, sir. Ludlow 7. He's in the abandoned supermarket. I'll go in the back way. Come on, let's go. All right. Oh, Mike. I really need you now. He's behind some crates on the south side of the market. Hey, Mike, he's got a gun, so be careful. Do you read me? Yeah, Terry, I read you. guy must have dropped it. Oh, man. <laughs> but you said he was armed. He was. He shot at me. Me, I ain't never owned a gun in my life. Where'd you dump it? I'll wait here for the backup. 
I'll look for the gun and pick up Chris. You ought to turn the gun in, man. You flipped out or something. You know what this is, man? It's a Saturday night special. A lot of things a guy could do with a gun like this. Get in. Gotta go find a gun. <laughs> John Whirl. Just John. No middle name. He never had a middle name. Mrs. Whirl, you said your husband had a gun. We'd just come back from vacation. He bought it out of state. Mm -hmm. I didn't want him to buy it, but there had been some prowlers in the neighborhood before. John was so determined to protect what was ours. It was my fault. I should have... We weren't tired. We were both feeling so good that we drove through the night to get home. If we hadn't... Mrs. Squirrel, what kind of gun was it? Do you know? No. It was a handgun, small. I really don't know anything about guns. We have the man in custody, Mrs. Squirrel. Later, if we could, we'd like to see if you could identify him. Well, that saved my husband, officer. No, ma'am. Look, we're sorry to have bothered you right now, and maybe we can talk to you later, okay? Thank you. How's Mr. World? He's just gone into surgery for the second time. Is he gonna make it? Well, it doesn't look good. Only one bullet. It doesn't look good. E.L. Smith, a.k.a., a.k.a., etc., etc. Suspicion breaking entering, suspicion burglary, suspicion ADW, no convictions. What did you do with the gun, Mr. Smith, a.k.a.? Look, man, I told him and I told his partner. Now, I tell you, I ain't never had no gun. They took this out of the victim, Lieutenant. All right, book him on all counts, run a trace metal detection, see if he's held or fired a gun. With pleasure, Lieutenant. Come on, let's move it. Go to your left. Looks like a 32. Where's the gun? We didn't find one, Lieutenant. Danko said the two of you were going to search the area. Where there's a spent slug, there should be a gun. Smith had one, Lieutenant. He put a couple of holes in our car with it, but when I caught up with him, he was clean. And we went over the entire area, but didn't turn up a weapon. Are you saying that his gun magically disappeared during your pursuit? Now, Webster, Owens, what did the gun do? Dissolve into the smog? We're not sure, sir, but it might not have been the suspect's gun to begin with. The gun could have belonged to the victim, Whirl, Lieutenant. Now, Chris says there was a gun missing from the house when he got there. Mrs. Whirl said that her husband bought a gun on the way home from vacation. And yeah, maybe if he hadn't, he wouldn't be where he is now. <laughs> I just wish people would leave law enforcement up to us. The victim should have waited until you got there. How many guns do we confiscate every month, Webster? 75, 100? Each one of them has a story. Nobody wants to hear it. Oh, it's not pretty what just one gun can do in the wrong hands. And Mrs. Worrell claimed her husband was very into his right to protect himself. With the citizen's right to bear arms goes the responsibility to keep and use them in a safe and proper manner. Lieutenant, we can check and see if the gun was registered at the time of purchase. You're still gonna have to find the gun first, Webster. Then you can tie it in to Whirl's purchase, to Smith's possible possession at the time of the crime, 
And I suggest you do that. Find the gun before somebody else gets shot. Put that 11 ball in the corner pocket. Yeah, right. 11 ball, corner pocket. Hey, man, come on, let's split, huh? What's your hurry? Man, don't do it. 15 ball, corner pocket. Two bits says I can't miss. Turn the gun in, man. It's just gonna get you in a lot of trouble. It's two bits, Billy boy. Put it on my bill. Collie's looking for you. So what else is no? He's your cousin. Look, why don't you tell him to stop hassling us? Every time I turn around, he's hanging around, bugging me for the money he claims you owe him. Honey. Got something going down here. I don't want to hear any more of your noise. Split. I'll call you later now. Split. Do we deal? Outside. Bucks. Maybe. Maybe 15. Hey, man, you don't think I know what it's worth? The going price for a special like that is at least 50. Get yourself another sucker, sonny. Hey, hold on a minute, man. I'll give you a box of cartridges. Huh? Where'd you get these? I bought them. How hot is this piece? Hey, I found it, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you did. Okay, then, hey, just forget it, then. I'll, I'll take it. And I'll take these, too. Okay? Yeah, sure, for 50 clams. Come on. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hey, man. You punk! There's your 50 bucks worth, and you get any funny ideas about going to the cops. You'd be a dead man, Sonny. I'm sorry he hasn't been able to speak. But at least he's alive. Thank heaven for that. If you'd like us to come back later. No, it's all right. I'd like to help if I can. You couldn't find the gun? No, ma'am. We went over the whole area, but we might have missed it, but I don't think so. Can you tell us if the gun was registered, ma'am? Oh, no, I'm sure it wasn't. The whole transaction seemed illegal. Well, from ballistics, we know it's a 32 caliber. Mm -hmm. Do you remember if it had a short barrel? Yes, I believe so. How short? Two and a half, three inches? I don't know. Two and a half, I guess. Your husband bought the gun out of state, you say? Yes. I can tell you where he bought it. And there's a sales slip. I'll look for it if it'll help. Please. He thought and he bought it that it was such a bargain. <laughs> you know, we've been through here before and got nowhere. Well, it's got to be here somewhere. He wasn't out of my sight that long after he fired at me. How's it going? Hey. Uh, okay. You caught that guy, huh? Yeah. You're the one who put us on to him, right? Yeah. Thank you. How's Mr. World doing? He's in pretty bad shape. It's too bad. 
Such a nice guy. He used to always play ball with us. Uh, I got something to tell you, only you gotta promise me something first, all right? Promise? That depends, don't you think? Well, if it has something to do with that gun you're looking for, that is what you came here for, isn't it? Yeah. You gotta promise me it won't get my friend in trouble. Sometimes promises are hard to keep. Now, why don't you start at the beginning and we'll take it from there? Well, that, that guy you were chasing through here, uh, afterwards, my buddy found his gun. Now, what's his buddy's name and where does he live? His name is Mead Watkins. He lives on Benson Street. Only he doesn't have the gun anymore. He sold it, or he tried to, I think. Did you ask him? Well, he wasn't in school today. Maybe he's sick or something. I don't know. Let's go. About the gun. Come on, man. They're trying to help you. He's right. I promise there'll be no sweat. All we want to do is find out where the gun is. They're trying to help you, stupid. Who beat you up? That dude at the pool hall? Man, I got this in a fight. Some dude I've never seen before. You try to sell the gun, man. Yeah, well, I had it in mind, only it didn't work out. The dude wasn't interested. Where is the gun now? I dumped it. Where? An alley, man. Some ash can out in back of Calvin's pool hall. This guy you tried to sell the gun to, what did he look like? I don't remember, man. Some honky dude, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and find it, right? near Washburn. Thank you. should have turned that gun in when we found it. Look what it got you. Don't you think I know where you got that busted eye? I'm only trying to help you, man. Man, that guy's gonna kill me if he finds out I've been anywhere near the man. So just don't help me anymore, okay? Anything? Yeah, the cold shoulder. Everyone in there suddenly developed a lousy memory. Never even heard of Meet Watkins or anyone that looks anything like him. Yeah, well, we're coming up empty here, too. No gun anywhere. Someone could have found it, but I got a feeling. You got a feeling? Well, someone took me snipe hunting once. Just once? Once was enough. I may have been dumb, but I wasn't stupid. Yeah, well, as long as that gun is still floating around, someone's gonna get hurt. Roger. 
Ludlow 9 at 1043 Summers. We have a gunshot victim. Request an ambulance. Make that ambulance a coroner's wagon. He's dead. The first slug left John World paralyzed. The second one killed the liquor store manager. The third one you dug out of your car door. All of them 32 caliber. Ballistics has come up with a positive comparison. All fired from the same gun. Where is it, gentlemen? The gun. Lieutenant, we combed the area where we caught Smith again, and we thought we had a lead. A kid told us he found the gun where Smith dumped it during Terry's pursuit. OK, that ties Smith in with the gun. I repeat, where is the gun? The kid that found it said that he threw it away. Where? He said where we looked, we couldn't find it. This young fellow know that the gun was involved in a felony? Probably. I suppose you told him that he should have turned it in. That if he knew the gun was used in the commission of a felony and he tried to conceal it, he is equally guilty. Aiding and abetting is also a felony. Well, did you tell him that, boys? No, sir. I guess we didn't. We told the kid that he wouldn't get in any trouble if he could tell us where to find the gun. Wonderful. Then you may have compounded a felony. Are you aware of this? Yes, Lieutenant, we thought we could get a lot closer doing it our way, and we still do. Wes, I can overlook some of Owen's lack of efficiency, lack of protocol due to his inexperience. You're practically a seasoned veteran. You should know better. Owens is riding it with you to learn what the rules are, not how to bend them. Mel detection test on uh, Smith, Lieutenant. It's positive. You didn't fire that gun. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I? No. I... No, 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 no. It's roll call. Yes, and my responsibility to make sure that Officer Owens get there and on time. <laughs> to the two-and-a-half-inch barrel. Bought out of state. Had a bargain, according to Mrs. Warren. Some bargain. Saturday night special. Any idea how many of those little gems are floating around? How many? Twenty million. Twenty million? Twenty million. One backyard wholesaler manufactured and sold over 7,000 of those little babies in one year alone. Imported gun casing usually made up of cheap pot metal for six dollars and fifty cents, and you could put your hands in one of those little babies for fifty dollars right now on the street. Sweet markup. They're almost always connected with the crime. They have no other practical use. They're not accurate beyond a few yards. It doesn't make them any less deadly. But what are you going to do? I don't know. I I used to try to keep an open mind about gun control. I thought the stricter laws would only take the weapons away from the honest citizens. But a criminal could always get a gun if he wanted one. Then you get on the street, you start to see the problems and see the situation. You begin to understand what it is. What about the boy who found the world gun? We'll be seeing him again. But from a different direction. to give you a ride, Mead. What you trying to do now, man? Hassle me? No? We just want to show you something. Mead! Get in the car. He'll live. Not a normal life, but he'll live. Will he always be like that? I mean, unable to, to move or talk? Man, that's what I'm trying to say to you. Don't you understand? Billy said that Mr. World used to play ball with you guys. Well, that ain't never gonna happen again, ever again. It's what one lousy bullet can do. 
smashed bones, shattered nervous systems, recommends life, his family. Don't you see that? You ready to go? I'm waiting to hear, huh? You ever see a dead man, Mead? No. Well, the guy you're gonna see was killed by the gun that you found. for life. This man also had a family. People that he loved. People that loved him. People that he's never gonna see because of that gun. Because of that gun. Do you hear me? I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'm sorry. The man that took the gun. His name's Grange. Yeah, he beat me up. Took the gun and the ammo I bought. Hey, I wanted the bread to buy a new bike, that's all. He said he'd kill me if I went... if I told the cops. Mead. Okay. Grange, first name or last? I don't know. He hangs around the pool hall. Maybe he lives around there, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of here, all right? Gives me the creeps. On the way, maybe you can tell me what this Grange looks like. I don't have to do nothing else, right? Because if Grange ever finds out, I told you guys. Hey, I promise you, you'll never know from us, okay? And uh, I'll stay away from that pool hall. You know guys gonna pick him up? We're gonna try. Okay, get out of here before someone sees you talking to us. Come on, go ahead. Go. Stop him. What was I supposed to do? Hit him over the head or something? Millie, I'm gonna need a gun. What about my TV? I need that. You pull one stinking job, and what does it get you? 35 lousy bucks, and you killed a man doing it. Oh, why can't we just get out of this rat trap? Why can't we just leave town and start over again someplace else? Because I told you, I need bread before I can split. Grange, honey, that kid you took the gun away from, sooner or later he's gonna talk, and then where will we be? Out of town by then. But I told you, I need money. Besides, that score I have in mind, I, I need that gun. Oh, baby, who cares about money? Let's just leave now. Let's just catch a bus, hitch a ride, anything. You need me. I'm good for you. Come here. Where are you going now? Get the gun. Ah! Your name Grange? 
What's it to you? It's not a game show, friend. Answer the question. Yeah, my name is Great. So what? Turn around, Scrader. Hey, look, you're gonna have me mixed up with somebody else. What's this all about? You're under arrest. For what? Trip by resisting arrest. Assault with a deadly weapon. Robbery and murder. You're crazy. I'm clean, man. You have the right to remain silent. Well, tell me about my rights, man. I know my rights. If you give up the right to remain silent, anything you say... Him he wouldn't have to do anything else besides being scared and threatened by Grange. That's what has to be done, Webster. Son, all we need here is a positive identification. Now, if you're not certain, don't hesitate to say so. Now, take your time. Don't be afraid he can't see you. Anything you decide here, you know, you're going to have to testify to in court. You understand that? Yeah. Okay, send him in. Turn to the right. Face front. about it, son. What do you say? I don't know. Well, we got plenty of time. No. What do you mean? I never saw any of those jizz before. This man, you told the officers he beat you up. I don't think you'd forget what he looked like, uh, would you? Can I go? Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. So the kid is scared. We still can't hold Grange. And there's a good possibility he still has the gun. Well, Meade isn't the only one who's scared. This Grange is just a scared punk. And he's all the more dangerous if he still has the gun. Look, maybe we can put a little unofficial pressure on him, huh? What do you mean? Harassment? No pressure. Cover the places he hangs out? Visit his apartment? Well, what about a search warrant? There's no probable cause, Danko, but since you're already working that zone, there's no law that says you can't stop by Granger's place and uh, inquire about the gun and check out some of the places he frequents. This would be on your own regular patrol, of course. Of course. Yes, sir. Now, even though Grange doesn't have the gun, it's still floating around out there someplace. And without it, we don't have a case. So you crossed, so what? I mean, why should you sweat over a couple of cops? I mean, just because they went out on a limb for you. 
That's what they did, right? I mean, they could have hassled you, gotten tough. Maybe even filed some kind of charges or something. Give me a patch. Of course, you probably did the right thing, though. Anybody be chicken if they knew they had to stand up in court and put the finger on some guy you know is gonna waste you the first chance he get. Man, why don't you just lay off? Sure, why should I care? They're just cops. Sort of different, though. They're pretty all right dudes. Maybe... Maybe I could get it back. What? The gun. Maybe I could get it back and turn it in. Like I should have done in the first place. How do you think you're gonna get the gun back? I don't know. Maybe I can. But I can try. I've checked every street source I could turn up. Nobody around here wants to sell a piece. I guess the word's out. Any sign of Grange? Negative. Maybe the pool hall. Take another shot at the pool hall, Mike. We'll fall by Grange's apartment. Roger, Ludlow 9. Could be Grange split town. Well, if he's not at his place, we'll, uh... Nose around a little, see what we can come up with. Yeah. It's open. Can we come in, miss? What for? We're looking for George Grange. We were given this address for Grange. But the clerk downstairs said the room was registered in your name? Losers. All my life, losers. Yeah, the room's registered in my name. I paid for practically every cent of the rent myself. But Grange has been staying here. Yeah, so what? So what? You mean he's been that good to you that you're willing to go to jail for him? Jail? That's right, jail. If we nail him for what we think we can, you could be an accessory. Look, I didn't have anything to do with any of this. Look, do we get a little cooperation? Or do we take you in for questioning? We're looking for Grange or for the gun that he had. You know anything about that? Is it here? No, the gun's not here. But if you're looking for that gun and you're looking for him, all I got to say is you better find him before he gets it back and kills somebody else. Where is he? He said things to me. Nobody ought to say things like that to somebody who sticks by them. A person's got to have some dignity. Well, I tell you, I've had it with that creep. Miss, where can we find him? You find Cully, you'll find Grange. Grange owed him money, so Cully took the gun. Took my TV, too. Both of them are creeps. Miss, who's Cully? Grange's cousin. Try Calvin's pool hall. Thank you. Back the bread over you if I haven't got the gun. Now, come on. It's been your problem your whole life, cousin. You've never been able to figure anything out. Hey, Cully. Hey, man. Family just don't treat each other this way. Oh, come give on. me that family gun. <laughs> you still got the gun, huh? You got the gun when you got the bread. But the price is going up. Don't you think I got ears, man? I mean, don't you think I know how hot that piece is? <laughs> Me went after him. 
Call an ambulance. This guy's still alive. shooting. It was Grange. Looks like he went west on 3rd Street out the back of the alley. The kid Mead followed him. Take 3rd. We'll take Marshall. Okay, call it in. Turn him loose! Let me go! Let me go! Back off, dude! Back off, or I'll count! Now you got three seconds to get out of here! Move! Okay, we'll split, but just let the kid go! No deals! Let me see your dust, brother! and 50 cents worth of cheap metal. When you got it, you got it. Is that it? Yeah. Well, how are you at basketball? Are you kidding? Me was born with a basketball in his hand. Well, how's Billy? Oh, he ain't no Walt Frazier, but he's learning. Hey, uh, what is this? Some kind of survey you guys are taking? We are putting together a team for the Police Athletic League, and we're looking for talent. OK, wait a minute. You got the wrong guys. If we played on a cops team, we wouldn't be able to show our faces back in here. Have you ever thought that maybe it is time that your faces were not seen in here? There's a scholarship fund for the league's best players. If you're as good as you think you are, maybe it's time that you made it, uh... All that talent pay off for you. If I'm in the corner, man, inside.
Next Tuesday night, first try out at the high school gym. See you, right? Okay.